Hello, um, this is a lesson on whole numbers to 10,000 and it is the first lesson in unit two whole numbers. So um, to start off we are going to be doing some number sets and we're going to be looking at different ways to represent a number. Okay, so there are four ways, sort of five ways, but four ways that we're going to be looking at. One way you know really well, and I'll tell you that in a little bit, but um, we're going to be looking at four different ways to write a number. And we're going to be using the number 5,249 to uh, look at each of the four ways. Okay, so you're following along on your sheet as well. Um, but the first way is to use base 10 blocks, okay? And so, in base 10 blocks, a cube, so a 3D square like this, is equal to 1,000. And maybe write this if you uh, do not have this memorized. Just a regular square equals uh, 100. A stick equals 10. And a single little square like that equals 1. Okay, so when I'm representing 5,249, I'm going to need to have 5 cubes. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I will need um, 2 squares for my hundreds. So there's 1, 2. I will need 4 sticks to represent the tens. Uh, one, two, three, four, and then I will need nine little tiny ones, or dots, or whatever, however you want to draw it, like this, um, to represent nine. Okay, so I've got five, two, four, nine to make 5,249. Technically, if I was to break all of these up into little tiny squares, then I would have 5,249 squares. Okay, that's the, that's the process of that, and um, you should be, be familiar with base 10 blocks, but we do have actual physical base 10 blocks if you'd like to use those um, if you are a kinesthetic learner. <clears throat> the second way that you can represent a number is by using a place value chart. Now, the hardest part about this is actually building the chart. Placing the numbers is pretty easy once you've got the chart made, but you always start your chart um, with the largest number on the left side of the paper and then work your way to the smallest number to the right, just like you'd write a number, okay? So in this case, um, the highest place value is thousands. So that means that our place value chart needs to start with thousands and then it would go to hundreds and then tens and then ones. Okay, so once you've got this chart created, so you just draw some lines and divide it up, then put thousands, hundreds, tens, ones, and then you just place these in the correct spot. So five goes under thousands, two under hundreds, four under tens, and nine under ones. Okay, so that's the second way that you can represent a number. The third way would be to use expanded form. Now expanded form divides each one of these numbers up and puts zeros after um, the number to hold its place. Okay, because if I were to just divide this number up, and go 5, 2, 4, 9 without putting any zeros to hold place value, this is no longer 5,000. That's just 5. Well, I would rather have $5,000 than $5, right? So would you. So um, what we need to do when we're doing expanded form is since there is 1, 2, 3 places after the 5, um, we need to put three zeros, one, two, three, after the five in expanded form to make sure that it stays as 5,000 rather than five. Okay, um, the next one, same thing. So it's 200, that's the value of this two is 200. So instead of having just a two, which is a lot different than 200, we need to place those two zeros after it in place of the four and the nine to keep it at 200. Then we put a plus sign, and we put a plus sign in between each one. So we've got 5,000 plus 200 plus, and then we've got a 4 here, and there's only one number after it, so we'll, we put one zero after. So 40, and then plus 9. 9 has nothing after it, so we don't need to put any zeros. Okay, so expanded form, it divided each one of these up on its own and put zeros after to hold the place value with plus signs to add them all together. And that's the third way to represent numbers, is expanded form. And the last way is to use words. So this is writing out in words 
how you would actually speak it. So whatever you would say to speak it, you just write that in words. Okay, so 5,249. I've got it written here, 5,249. Notice there is, oh, there is not an and right there. There's no and because that means something different that we'll get into in unit five. Okay, so we do not say and and we do not write and unless we have decimals, which we're not working with those right now. Okay, so do not write and, that's part of the thing that you're learning in this lesson is making sure that we know that there's no and when we say a number with no decimal. Okay, um, the last way to write a number that I said you already knew is to write in standard form. And standard form is right here. Just a regular way to write a number. So make sure you write this because you're gonna get confused in your BLM assignment and be like, I don't know what standard form is. How do I write this? It is this, that's standard form. The standard way that you would write a number. Okay, so copy that down and then we'll move on to the bottom. We'll do some examples together. Get rid of that. And what happened here? There we go, okay. So what we're going to do is use those four ways to show um, 2,431. Okay, so we need to do base 10 blocks, place value chart, expanded form, and words. So base 10 blocks, we do the, like I said, the cubes and the squares and the sticks and the ones. Okay, so we work from here. So we need two cubes. So we draw a cube, and to do that, you do a square, draw three lines like that, and then connect them in the back. Uh-oh, that one's not so good. You can still tell what it is though. Okay, so it's two thousands, we need four hundreds. One, two, three, four. We need three tens. One, two, three, and we need one, one. Place value chart, we need to draw that. So we're going to need four sections. We're going to need thousands. It's okay if you write uh, short form with three or four or four or five letters here. Hundreds, these are tens, and this is ones. Okay, so for thousands, we've got two. For hundreds, we've got four. For tens, we've got three. And ones, we've got one. And then uh, we've got expanded four. So after that, we need to, that's where we put the plus signs and the zeros for the place values. So we've got two thousands. So we put 2,000, then how many hundreds? We have four hundreds. Then we have three tenths, and we have one one. Now if I had a zero in my number, say the four was a zero, we would leave that out completely, and it would turn into 2,000, 30, and one, with nothing to show that there's a hundreds place even. Okay, and the last way would be words. So we would write two, thousand, four hundred, thirty-one. And that's words. Okay, um, on the back you need to do the same thing. It's going to follow me. Don't do this exact thing on there though. Um, you're going to use 1,308. Notice there's a zero there. Okay, so when you're doing expanded form, you're not going to do anything. Same with base 10 blocks. You're going to leave that zero out. Okay, so pause the video now, do this, and then follow along with me once you are finished. Okay, so you should be done this now, at least everything that you understood. Um, so let's do base 10 blocks first. So how many thousands do we have? Oh, I guess I'll select a marker here. We have 1,000, we have three hundreds. We do not have any tens, so we leave out the sticks, but we do have eight ones. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's base 10 blocks. Next up is a place value chart. If you can't remember what each one of these are, that's why I have this summary on the front for you on your paper to show you um, 
what those are. Okay, so the place value chart has thousands, hundreds, tens, ones, and then we just fill it out accordingly. So there's one thousand, there's three hundreds, there's zero tens, and there are eight ones. So make sure you have that. Then expanded form, that's with the uh, plus signs. So we take the thousand, we put some zeros after it, put a plus sign. We take the three hundred, and then we put the eight. Notice how I said before that we leave that zero alone. We don't put plus zero plus eight because it's not needed, so we don't put it. And the last one is words. All we have to do is say this out loud and then write down what we say. 1,308. Um, your assignment, oh, this is not going to work. Your assignment is um, on page 36 and 37. And it seems long, but it's a lot of just practicing this stuff, which doesn't take very long. Um, so it's not as big as you're thinking of it is. It's going to be numbers one. Don't do number two, but do three all the way to eight. And then do 14 and 15. Okay, so you're skipping 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Don't do those ones, but do 14 and 15. And that's, uh, that's everything for today's lesson.